What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome to 2020. Unfortunately no F1 2020 to showcase for you guys but hopefully that's a few months away now. We are in the same year as a new F1 game coming out and that is really fun isn't it? But anyway uh, we're back for some more open lobbies. This is the same uh, set of lobbies, set of races that I did uh, from the video yesterday, the Monaco race, 20 laps of simulation damage at Monaco. If you haven't seen that video, what the hell are you doing, man? Like, that was probably one of the best videos of the decade that I made, and I saved it right until the last second. Go check that out before you see this one. But anyway, regardless, we are here for another set of races. This is uh, the first one that I did. Um, this first one was one where I just joined a random person's lobby. And uh, it turned out at 3 a.m. there was still a, a high demand for me have, making my own open lobby. And that's what I did in the race after this. So in this first one here in Brazil, we're just going to glance over this very quickly. This was uh, n not a fun race to me, as you can see. Uh, collecting a, a stranded Ferrari at turn one with full damage. Kind of ruined my race right from the outset. I decided to press on, even though it was an 18 lap race. Um, I just wanted to see if I could recover. Because you never know, get that clickbait going with... Uh, Oh my god, can't believe I recovered from this, kind of thing. I don't know. But um, I, it didn't exactly work out that way. We got ourselves up at a P3. The damage was actually quite bad, and I was losing a lot of touch with the leader. And so I decided to pit for medium tyres, change the front wing, and then get myself back out there again. And this is in the hope that a safety car might come out at some point and save my bacon. That didn't exactly happen, and so we had to march on with the job on our own uh, with just raw... Pace, I suppose and to be honest we did quite well we, we were very consistent uh, the pace was strong despite this being my first race of the day on the game in a little while with uh, a lot of prop I don't have a setup really on PS4 I just use the same setup at every track so that's something I need to delve into a little bit more in the future but I did manage to recover into P2 quite well uh, penultimate lap of the Grand Prix absolutely no pressure on my shoulders at this stage, you can probably predict what's about to happen. We go through the center S, and the like one in a thousand chance of me spinning out on a corner has just happened, and uh, yeah, that 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 put curtains to my race. So um, yeah, not a fun one. Let's move on to the actual open lobby. Any luck, I'll miss out. Yeah, let's get get back to the lobby as fast as you can, boys. Well, one of us has to. But if you can hear us, don't leave. <laughs> I'm on black screen waiting for players and all the usernames are on the side. I'm on oh, the, 10, the, the, the not 8, yeah, yeah, I hear 7, that. Ben's ready so he hasn't left five, yet, that's good. Four, <laughs> no, three, oh, oh my god, god. people leaving the session, right, this is good, this yes, is good, this is go. good. Oh, oh. Come on, come on. Come on. Right, come on. Load, 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 load. Why am I not going anywhere? It's a saving game, no, come on. Do you have to leave when you, did you guys leave the lobby or at all? No, no, we didn't leave. No, I'm just getting a black okay, screen good. as well. Yeah, yeah I'm just screen. staring. I'm just staring at fucking. Oh, I'm getting F127 flashbacks. So Come okay, on, I swear, man. I swear, I swear. If, if, if the one session one I get with Ben is broken. Yeah, what's it? What's the bet? It'll fucking break. He should just make an open lobby, like. Well, then everyone's gonna join. Yeah. I'm not gonna yeah, we'll, find it. But, but we're ready. It's but we're ready to go. We'll get in there. The chance of me finding it. Oh my gosh. It's yeah, just it the same for everyone, not just those. Come on, game. Seriously. Oh, come on. Code oh, Masters, I swear. I sent in a picture to his reply, or to his tweet that I got into his lobby, and everybody's asking me what's the lobby name. Yeah, here. don't, don't, don't tell him. Don't no, tell him. You don't need you. to fucking know that. Yes, boys. Let's go! In. Let's go! Yes. Fucking lit! We both got in. Let's go. Oh, yeah, boys. Let's do it. Yeah. Come on, Ben, put the Aussies up the front, mate. Right, finally, after all that shenanigans. Um, that's something you don't see in videos or really on Twitter or anything, unless I rage about it sometimes. Um, but yeah, half the time in open lobbies, like, they just always break. It is rather annoying, especially on PC. PC is the worst because it's so hard to build up a player base again, like, <laughs> in a full lobby. It's, it's, it's very annoying. But anyway, German Grand Prix, 25% races. I'm really obsessed with doing 25% races now. I, you can have strategy now, and it just makes the overall video and race so much better. <laughs> oh, come on, it's glitched already. Ben. Are you serious? It's cunt driving. Ben! Oh, it's cunt driving already, man. It's glitched. 
Wonderful. And that is, uh, well, we saw number one glitch of F1 2019 online. This is number two. So when you do get into a lobby eventually, someone else will start and everyone has to wait for them to finish the whole damn race. Uh, but thankfully they quit out and we were able to get this race underway. The German Grand Prix. I'm pulling off to the side because I got put on pole position. That was my bad. I accidentally put it on a custom grid when it was meant to be uh, just a random grid. But before we even get to turn one, the safety car gets deployed and that is going to potentially ruin our race strategy because if you look at the tyre choice, we're on the mediums and the medium is, is the tyre of choice really at the German Grand Prix. The softs really go off quite quickly. If we pit now for softs, we won't make it to the end. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing two pit stops. I'm going to pit on this lap for softs. But on the lap after this, I'm going to pit again and put the mediums back on, so that I can, so that I can solve the regulation of using two different tire compounds. Um, the alternative is I pit for hards, which isn't a good idea, and being slow for the rest of the race, or I stay out on mediums and pit later for softs. But this is the fastest way to do this, really. Safety car in this lap. Jesus Christ, that was quick. But the game has uh, once again ruined me because the safety car is coming in one lap early. It always is supposed to stay out for two laps behind the safety car, but we really only spent one lap behind the safety car, and we're underway once again at the end of lap two. So this has absolutely ruined my race, as if it wasn't ruined enough before. Um, oh my goodness. Massive back end loss at turn one. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, this race is well and truly being turned on its head. There are three people in the field oh, so who stopped on the safety car on the first oh, lap. Myself, course, Flying Jippo, and then Slideshow Prod right behind me are the three who are in contention to potentially oh, win this race. But I'm not really rating my chances here as I go for a big boy lunge up the inside and knock off my front wing. At least half of it. That was a really silly move. I got caught up in the in the hype of everyone in the game chat just trying to be I don't know yeah I was trying to be flashy or something and I just ended up making myself look stupid and so we're gonna have to nurse this front wing for the rest of the race or at least change it in the pit stop coming up and uh, we also sped into the pit lane on the first lap as well so that's that's uh, yeah it's just a comedy of errors isn't it everything that could have gone wrong for the start of this race has and uh, it's gonna be like climbing Mount Everest, really, to try and win this race. But I will do my best. Perhaps we do get there. That's why I'm potentially showing this video, or maybe. DRS will be offline. There's a fault with the rear wing system. Stay out. We can work on a fix remotely. Or maybe it just gets horrendously bad, hilariously bad, because now we've got, got the DRS disabled. So that's not working. Uh, I said like that everything that could have gone wrong in this race has. Well, it turns out up until that point, not everything had gone wrong, but now it has. Surely, surely nothing else that could potentially go wrong now, apart from me probably dying in this race. Uh, but knowing my luck so far, it probably will happen. But anyway, let's get a bit more cheery. Let's see if we can climb our way back through this field. And McLaren has uh, given the Red Bull a bit of a shove, which uh, gave me a bit of an incentive to go up the inside here into the middle sector. We're now in P7 and getting attacked by the Williams of VRT Midnight. I don't have the greatest amount of downforce or confidence at this stage. Really haven't got into a rhythm yet. I've, I've, I've just been constantly battling people, battling the game's misfortune, I suppose. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, been, it's proving to be quite tricky at this stage. Held up behind the Toro Rosso, touched the back of him. Then I got touched behind by someone else. Um, but thankfully, no damage all around for everyone. And we move up into P6. However, with the lack of DRS for me, it leaves me being a sitting duck to VRT Midnight. And he gets through for P6. So one step forward, one step back, unfortunately. But um, the massive step back will be having to make an additional pit stop in this race. Because, um, like I touched on earlier, time wear is actually really harsh around here. Um, I, I did the maths a little later and I think it was like 7% per lap in terms of tyre wear and uh, yeah you can do maybe a little over 10 laps before you're in puncture territory and so um, trying to pull off this kind of strategy is, is near on impossible um, but at the time I, I didn't I didn't really factor in I didn't do the math really 
and uh, I was just kind of praying that I would get to the end, but uh, at some stage we probably will need to make a stop. But uh, we're still charging forward at this stage, the pace is really good, consistency pretty solid. Ferrari taking a team at Marduk line, or a pre-2016 team at Marduk line into turn one. Um, that's almost certainly a penalty with strict corner cutting. Let's see if we can get both these guys here. Um, they are pretty close in proximity on this back straight. Uh, we do have the DRS back now. I didn't know when that came back, but it did. Fairly recently. Pass going defensive into the hairpin. Let's see if we can outbreak this guy around the outside. The Ferrari doesn't really confidently get that done, and we went for a little gap there, which kind of got smaller and so we're still boxed in behind these two guys we finally get past the Haas can we get the Ferrari as well he's oh he's I don't know he's a little bit uns unsure of like where to place his car he you know you think he's gonna you know hold the inside into that left hand but then he um, moves back to the right hand side and you think he's gonna overtake someone and then backs out of it he's just a little bit unsure of himself someone who's not unsure of himself is the bloody Red Bull who completely done me around the outside there into the stadium section well done. Absolutely well done, Mr. Flying Jippo. <laughs> Love to know where your inspiration for that came from. But he is now through into P4. I think he's one of the guys who made a pit stop on the first lap with me. So um, he's on the box seat to win this Grand Prix potentially. And I still can't get past this Ferrari, who is really annoying me at this stage. Up the inside into turn two. Still can't get this done. Uh, that's awkward. Take a track extending warning as well, and uh, we're finally through for P3 as lots of people have stopped. There are old mediums, their tyres are six laps old. The time last lap was at one minute 16.7. We're slower by nine tenths a lap. They have a time penalty of 3.0. So, three second time penalty for our friend here, Mr. Jippo, and he is. Um, yeah, looking pretty good for this race win. The last guy who needs to make a stop has made it, and uh, that relinquishes him into the lead of this race. We could, we have made our stop, and we could go to the end, but I don't think the tyres will agree with that sentiment. And so I'm, I'm going to do my best job here to put this guy under pressure. Let's see if we can maybe force a mistake. There's a lot of gravel traps around here. He could fall into one of those. He could be pressured into getting a penalty or a lot of penalties that's that's hopefully the the case for me and um if i can force him into oh my god this defended against them for the lead of the race i'm shitting myself okay he's shitting himself so that's a that's a good sign um <laughs> if he is stressing then mistakes will happen and uh, that's what i'm hoping for if he makes a big mistake or if he has lots of penalties that leaves the door open for me to then make a pit stop and maybe even have the recovery of all recovery drives to come back and win this race because at this stage uh, I'm now starting to realize that the tires are not going to make it to the end let's have a look at the status hopefully I do that on this straight 63% on the left rear tire that's the worst by far we fast forward to the next lap and uh, this is where I got the 7% tire wear from because the left rear is now on 70% at the same point on the next lap so yeah it is uh, the tires are not looking good at this stage and I can't even keep up with our Red Bull Jippo friend up there and so it is time to make a stop for another set of soft compound tires. I tried to stay out as long as I could to try and put him under pressure. Um, to be fair to him, he didn't crack. And uh, now the comeback drive begins. But uh, this is gonna be a long stationary time. We had the five second stop go for speeding in the pit lane. Then we had the front wing change and then there was just that slow rejoin into the fast lane. So, all in all, I think we probably lost about 30 seconds, maybe, maybe, oh, 35, 40 seconds? That was a lot of time just burned, not really doing much, unfortunately. But we're still in the top 10. We could probably get top 5, maybe, depending on penalties for those ahead. That's the thing I love about having strict corner cutting lobbies is those who are consistent, those who are accurate with their lines will be rewarded, and I'm still getting penalties. So just forget about what I'm saying. But uh, we'll do our best job to come back through the field if we can. Uh, VRT Midnight is up next. This guy is apparently pretty quick. But uh, he also does make a lot of mistakes. Those who watched yesterday's video will know all about that. But uh, that is P8 for us. We've got two cars just up ahead and then a Ferrari a few seconds up the road. So yeah, P5 is still up for grabs. But we need to really get our heads down now. 
and uh, charge towards those guys. Fuel is a bit of a concern at this stage as well. These guys going defensive. We're going to make it three wide. Tried to go around the... Oh, and the Williams is sideways. How has he done that? We've got an illegal overtake uh, warning, which is going to... Uh, it's going to eventuate into a penalty, so that's some, another piece of bad luck against us today. But we're going to take P6 on this straight. I would like to go for a fastest lap if possible. There's just so much traffic and so much going on at this stage that it's, it's proving to be very difficult. The Haas dives in very deep. Uh, he, we do the cutback and we uh, get back up into P6. But this is our probably our best chance now of getting fastest lap uh, because we won't really be able to go for it on the last lap. Look at the, the deficit in terms of fuel. 0.4 down. We, we might even run out of fuel at this rate, and that's why I'm running in lean revs, even on a fastest lap attempt. But we come out of the final corner. Let's put it up in a rich for one last time. And 13.5, which is not bad considering the traffic. But now we are going to go in full conservative mode for the fuel. <laughs> because if we don't, we're, we're simply not going to make it. So there's going to be a lot of short shifting. There might be a little bit of lift and coasting. Thankfully, we'll have the... Um, stadium section to save a lot of oh. fuel this vrt midnight is very indecisive and i tried to get out of his way because he made a late dive to the left hand side so i moved to the right and then he moved to the right and so i think he might have hit us there but uh he's through anyway let's let him go and uh hope that we can beat this guy on penalties it's the last half of the grand prix it's a long old race uh in an open lobby sense so you, you would hope that a lot of guys in front have uh, racked up a lot of penalties on their end. Flying Jippo has won the German Grand Prix. Brilliant strategy from him. That was exactly what I was trying to replicate uh, with mine, you but the safety car timing just completely ruined us, as well as many other things. My own driving. But we're coming up to the final couple of corners now. We're in low fuel mode, and we've run out of fuel. Much like yesterday, we are battling the same people oh, on track. We get overtaken <laughs> by Dane Star, and that is the end. <laughs> And what has been an absolutely diabolical race for us. Technical faults, um, horrible decisions on my part, uh, speeding in the pit lane, running into the back of people. Um, the list goes on. Unfair penalties, illegal overtake, my own corner cutting, injustices. And at the end of the day, um, I don't even know where we ended up. I'm not too sure. I think it might have been P7. We'll see on the ending screen in just a moment. But guys, that has been this video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you did. Enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more racing game content. Uh, I'm absolutely loving the uh, online videos at the moment. I really hope you guys are too as well. I'm going to endeavor to try and keep up this consistency of releasing online videos. Um, so stay tuned on the channel for that. Follow me on Twitter if you want to get involved in these. Like I said, I'll always tweet out or put an Instagram story out when I'm going to go online with you guys. So follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and I'll do my best to notify you guys of what is happening throughout my journey in F1 2019 online. Who knows, maybe even one of these days I'll do an iRacing or even a Gran Turismo Sport Open Lobby. Um, but that may not be for a while. I'll uh, keep you guys posted on that. But yeah... I am very much rambling at this point. Hopefully you enjoy the content that is to come in 2020 and roll on the new F1 game, hopefully very soon. That's it for me. Until the next one, goodbye. Career mode, we'll be back very, very, very soon. Might be in a video. You did have a dummy. I hope he's in a video, dude. I hope he's doing a video. I'm like... Semi crying right here, dude. I literally just beat fucking Ben. Shut it. Cry for views. Cry for views. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. F1 2019 in black. Really fan can't. cry. I'm not, that's not. I'm gonna be famous for the wrong thing. But oh my god. <laughs>